Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. Let's go into a yoga flow for pain and inflammation. This is going to be part three of our pain and inflammation series, going deeper into the legs, all the way down into the feet. So this is great if you're feeling that sense of heaviness in the lower body, sometimes if you're feeling that disconnection with your extremities, with your feet, if you're starting to feel cold feet, cold hands. So I hope this makes you feel really, really good. Let's get into it. Seated comfortably, maybe on your knees, maybe on your sit bones. We're going to place our right hand under our left hand with our thumbs together and start to close our eyes, allowing our connection to our fingertips to guide us on a little journey. Empty the mind, breathe in to this beautiful mudra and allow all this light and energy to just flow in your hands. Beautiful, we're gonna release the mudra, inhale, raise your arms up to the sky, stretching the entire body, and exhale into prayer. Just taking a moment for yourself, and then preparing to come to our hands and knees. Shoulders over hands, we're gonna Tuck in our toes, sit onto our heels, and just massage our thighs gently, really awakening our toes, awakening our feet. Maybe you're just starting your day, and you're feeling a little bit of heaviness, a little bit of inflammation. Keep your spine tall, and roll side to side, stretching out your tendons, and then when you're ready, Coming onto your hands, just glide your hands forward. Keep your toes tucked in if that feels good and slide into a child's pose. Allow your knees to open to the outsides of your shoulder blades. Open hips, open belly, and open heart. Press gently towards the mat and allowing your energy to become a little bit more stable. Exhale and roll the spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae. I'm preparing to sit back onto our mats and going deeper into the legs. Feel free to bend your right leg crossed over your left thigh and using your hands, just massage your foot and your ankle in a gentle circle. You can feel free to bring your hands in between your toes or just go on top of the foot. Introducing a twisting motion, twist both hands in opposite directions as if you're using the foot like a sponge. And then placing that right foot in front of you, all your toes onto the mat, just start to gently rub in between each toe. Feel free to use your fingers, use your knuckles, and just give a nice bit of friction here. And then bringing the toes to the left side, go on the outside of your calf all the way up to your knee, and then massaging gently all the way up to the thigh. We're really focusing on this outside part of our leg. A wonderful line to unblock in the body unblock circulation, unblock the stagnant prana and energy in your legs. And then coming back to seated place, your foot in front, flex your right foot, both hands under your right knee. Inhale, chest opens up to the sky, and exhale, gentle forward fold. Just repeating this a couple times at your own pace. Inhale, opening, chest wide, heart up to the sky. And exhale forward, allowing the belly to fall towards the thigh. 
When you feel warm, just hold this forward fold. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, stretch your arms out to the right side of your foot. Really getting that stretch on the outside of the leg, right where we just massaged. Releasing this tension in the lower back. Coming back through center, roll up. This time, inhale, arms right up to the sky, stretch. And exhale, reach for that ankle. Forward fold. Keep the bottom of your lower spine flat. And allow the shoulders and the head to fall. Releasing tension. Releasing stress. And then exhale, coming back up. Preparing to go over to the left side. Cross your left foot in front. If it hurts to cross both legs, stretch your right leg out in front of you. That way you're comfortable and you can focus on rolling out this left ankle, going into the toes, and then preparing your hand, grab your foot from both sides and twist both hands, twisting in opposite directions, as if you're squeezing out the water, squeezing out the toxins. And you listen to all the sensations Placing your foot back onto the floor, gently rub the top of your foot in between the spaces of your toes. Going up towards the ankle and then letting those toes fall towards the right side, go to this outside of the leg. The outside of the calf, the knee and the thigh. You can do long striping movements going up to the thigh down to the foot or if you find a spot that is tender just rest on that spot and try to give it a little bit of extra love here it's something you can do every day to stimulate your body and to just help release toxins as you get more blood flow here coming back to seated flex your left foot both hands under the knee. Inhale, chest up. And exhale, forward fold. Making sure this repetition is fluid. Inhale like a soft wave. Exhale, forward. And one last time. Big, deep breaths. Allow your breath to relax you, to help your body rest. And keeping that forward fold as you're resting. Feel all the benefits that this is giving to your body and mind. If you wanna go a bit deeper, stretch your arms out in front of you and cross your arms to the left side of your foot. Feeling the opposition in the right hip, in the right part of the spine. And on an exhale, rolling back up to center. Continue the movement. Inhale, arms up, reaching tall. Exhale, forward fold. And coming back to a space of silence. Always checking in that your neck and your shoulders are relaxed. Trying to empty the mind of thought. And on your next exhale, slowly coming back up. And preparing ourselves. We can do this position on a wall or on a chair. We're gonna lie down onto our backs and start to place our feet up against the wall or maybe up against a chair. Starting by lifting our feet to the sky, stretch your legs, flex your feet, and massage gently behind the knees, maybe awakening the toes and the 
feeling all that circulation in the ankles. And then allowing our feet to fall onto the wall or onto the chair. Stretch your arms up and over the head onto the floor. And feel every part of your spine press gently into the earth. Aligning your body from the top of the spine all the way to the bottom. And to get more effects into the feet, bring your toes together and allow your ankles to be on the outside, turning in the feet and feeling the effects on the outside of your legs. And you can hold that for as long as you need. If it gets too much, release the legs, bring the feet back to center and place your hands gently onto your belly, focusing on a deep belly breath, and bringing in some more healing into the body, into the mind. The more we deeply rest, the more time our body has to heal. And you start to get those tingles in the toes, bend the knees back into the chest, roll yourself side to side, and then taking your time, rolling onto one side, and coming back into your seated position. As you inhale, raise your arms up to the sky, coming back to your breath. And exhale into prayer and into Namaste. Thank you for the light that you shared with me today.